Go for it, Mr. McClear. All right, thanks, guys, for uh, tuning in to this little brief video that Aaron's doing for no discernible reason. Uh, but I'm gonna, it's a lightweight buffer tutorial, so-called ultralights. Um, we're going to be going over all the tools you'll need, some basic tips that will also apply to normal buffers, PVC-based uh, ones, and some preliminary things about how to make flat blade weapons, but that's a topic that's even more complicated, and we don't have the time for that. Um, we'll have some other folks showing up, but all right, let's get started. Uh, how long are you going to run that for? Maybe 20 minutes, because oh, I think that's what okay. I got. All right, first of all, I'm going to go over how to make stuff that's safe for our game, uh, of course, doors which may not, uh, and in fact, probably will not necessarily pass other games. Uh, if you have a Forest of Doors 4th edition manual, which I recommend buying because nobody does. We uh, have them for $10! On page 100, conveniently enough, it has all the stats that you need to know for basic weapons. Um, actually, even giant weapons are all there. Uh, could you hand me that? Uh, which one? Uh, the, just the core. You can introduce yourself if you want, because then now <laughs> you don't want to. Okay, oh, uh, camera stuff. I'll be making a. Uh, I will be making a, uh, a halberd that I'm going to be using for another game, Fractured. Um, I'm not going to use a. Uh, complete this by any means by the end of the, the tutorial here, but I'll just use it for most of my examples. Um, the simple thing that you need to know when making ultralight or lightweight weapons is that you need to use fiberglass core. Uh, which uh, there's a link to the in the thread to exactly what you need to buy, but for most purposes, most people get 505 uh, hollow fiber wound epoxy tubing. You can get it at Goodwin's Kites. I think Tap Plastics has some, and McMaster Carmite. Uh, it's all over the internet. Um, Goodwin's Kites used to have a very small selection, just the 505 cores, but they vastly expanded it, probably because LARPers were buying them out and they realized they could make a lot of money off of this. Uh, they have a huge selection of different cores. It can be very bewildering, but the 505, the .505 outer diameter core, uh, is what you'll use for almost everything. Uh, like I s there's also, just ignore the tape on it. Uh, this is also a .526 core, which is looks almost the same. It's very slightly wider and very slightly thicker. Uh, it has the same inner diameter as this, which means it's just a thicker wall. This is good for making, uh, you can make great swords out of this or use it where you really need to worry about weapons being too flexible, too whippy. So maybe uh, a staff? Uh, you could use this for a staff if it's sort of an advanced technique because you have to cobble it together. You can't use the full length. First of all, it doesn't generally come in six foot sections. Uh, but also I wouldn't want to use this for the full length because it would still be too whippy. It wouldn't break, it would just be too whippy. I've never actually seen one of these cores break that was made properly. Uh, I've seen smaller than 505, which you can also get, and you can use for daggers, but I'm not going to be going over that. I'll recommend that to you at some point. Um, 526 is great for larger weapons, but you don't need it if this is your first time out. There's another kind of core that I won't be using, but it's called, people will call two-handed. Uh, it's this 602, I think, is the outer diameter. It's incredibly strong. This stuff is basically bulletproof, but it's heavy. And if you use it for a two-handed weapon, it will be lighter if you use everything else correctly than a, a PVC one, and certainly a lot stronger, but it's not going to be that much lighter. Uh, people like to use it because it will fit certain cores better, but uh, I, I tend to find very little use for 602. This is what I would use to make a staff out of. You take this as the central section, it's incredible, it's the Monkey King staff's made out of this. Uh, it's very rigid, and then I use the next kind of core, which is kind of my favorite, uh, 0.745. 74 something. Uh, it's very wide, but very thin. It actually weighs only a tiny bit more than the 505. And this stuff is expensive, but it's great because it's a lot more rigid and it's about the same weight as the 505. I use it for handles, I use it for uh, staff. You can just get it in the staff length and just slap some foam on it. You got a staff that'll last forever. So that's the course. Uh, you guys can ask me questions because this is what it's here for. I know it's going to be kind of awkward because you're actually going to be recorded for posterity, but. Uh, any questions about the cores? Not right now. Nothing? Okay. Um, I'll show you samples and uh, while I'm going through this. But there's two types of ultralight weapons. Uh, there's a standard, you know, tube foam, the pipe insulation we all... If you don't know what this looks... this is, ask the friend next to you because, the, you know, this is sort of the basis of all LARPing. Uh, people tell you it's role-playing, but it's really the, uh, no, uh, boffer LARPing. Uh, 
One of the cool things about making lightweight weapons is it just so happens that you can get hold of three quarter inch foam from McMaster Car. It's about the only place you can get the three quarter inch, but it's so consistent. And if you're in the, if, if you're in Atlanta, uh, it's an Atlanta-based company, and they ship. They'll, they'll ship in a day. I've had stuff like the next day. I ordered a big weird order, and boom, it was at my door. If you're on the west side of town, they do customer pickup too. Oh uh, yeah, what customer pickup? Um, they have, it was one of those big industrial places where you can buy a forklift, a bicycle, like giant steel spheres, illegal immigrants, whatever. <laughs> you can just pick them up. I will be using Q. I, I used to work down the street from uh, But anyway, uh, this is standard uh, 5 8 inch wall uh, pipe insulation with a half inch inner diameter cord. It's probably the most common. Uh, I actually don't even have any uh, PVC around. Do you have. Uh, no. <laughs> I think. What's that for? I'll use this. Okay, this is a normal type foam, and if you're just making a normal PVC weapon, you know, it uh, it fits this pretty pretty well. This would be Schedule 40, which is kind of a no-no. But, you know, you put it on there, tape it up with duct tape, make a handle uh, uh, with electrical tape if you're uh, lucky, and uh, make the pommel however, and you have a weapon that may or may not pass. Uh, but probably doesn't look very good, probably a little too heavy. Uh, so, yeah, this is what you use for that. It just so happens that this stuff and this will be interest to you, uh, precisely fits the uh, 745 core. Uh, it's a little, it's not loose, it, it goes on easy, uh, which means you can glue it very well without the glue scraping all off, which is kind of a problem sometimes. Uh, if anybody, if you're expecting professional level production values, don't look elsewhere. Uh, so you can use, so you can just get the normal 5 8 inch foam if you're going to just make a weapon out of this expensive core. Uh, the uh, 745, or you can get the three quarter inch stuff, which, as you can see, I hope it, can the camera see this? Um, I can do a zoom in later. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, camera work. You, yeah, part of the union now. Yeah. See, it's actually it's three quarters inch, which is above our required uh, thickness for the wall, which is five eighths is the minimum. Three quarters is above that, which means this is slightly heavier, mm -hmm. but it has a small uh, three eighths inch. A hole in the middle, which means it fits 505 core, just nice, really nice. Again, not, it's not too tight, so you can get glue in it and make it a much tighter bond. And you can do the same with this if you wanted to. Just get a big old piece of 505 core, uh, like so. Uh, don't ever put core without anything over it into pipe foam. By the way, that's true for PVC and uh, as well as fiberglass, but especially true for fiberglass because it's thinner walled and tends to cut. But you do this all the way down, make the weapon that way, and you're done. If you want to do it quick and dirty, that's how you do it. So I'm going to assume that people have the three-quarter inch uh, foam, and they're using 505 core to make the weapon, and we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any just raw core sitting around? I think this is smaller stuff. You don't have to record this one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you, you don't want to ruin up your battery, we'll get to the, yeah.